Well, hello there, boys and girls. I am working on getting this PowerPoint up, so give me a second, as always. Crazy AC. Um, I have some shout outs today um, that wasn't put on the newsletter, um, and it says shout outs to our best students. Um, Carmen Padron, she had three hours and 30 minutes on already reading and one hour and 30 minutes in already math. Michael Sutton, he's doing one hour. He did one hour and three minutes on iReady Math. I think I might have had the same two last week. No, I think I had um, Gerardo on there last week. Anyway, um, there are lots of others that are doing great. Please keep up the hard work. I see Isaac, uh, Gerardo, Brandon, Journey, Tyler, um, and uh, my little thing here. Let's see. And Ashley, uh, rocking their time and I ready math too. Uh, don't forget to send me a message this week on our class dojo. Tell me what you're doing. I'd like to hear some stories. Um, so this week we are doing lesson 19 in your packet. Um, our standard, it has changed just a little bit. Um, today we're going to be estimating lengths using units of inches, feet, yards, centimeters, and meters, which um, we'll review what a centimeter, yard, feet, what they all are in just a second. Um, objective, I can understand, estimating length. All right, estimate. Um, we did some estimating earlier in the year. Um, estimate is just a guess. Remember we talked about um, it's just a guess. Use math things use math things to make a close guess. Um, here's some non-standard measurement, um, some non-standard ways to measure. Now one centimeter is about the width of your little finger or pinky finger. Here is a finger and a little bitty um, what a centimeter might look like. One inch about the width of a quarter. Uh, one foot about the height of a book. And height is up and down. Width is going across. Um, and this is meter or yard, and that's about the width going across of a door. Um, if you remember, last week I asked you to come up with some items around your house that could be what we would use for an inch and what we would use for a centimeter. Hopefully you guys did that, I hope. Um, Non-standard measurement, remember those are items that we, we guess um, that it's about an inch or a um, a about an inch or a centimeter. Um, also, don't forget standard is just when we use a ruler, a yardstick, a meter stick, or a measuring stick to measure objects. A ruler, um, a ruler, you can use both sides. One side is going to be a larger measurement, and those are inches. And the other side is going to be um, smaller, and which are centimeters. Uh, a ruler is about 12 inches and 12 inches, a whole ruler. If I held up a ruler right now, it would be one foot. One foot is, is the length of a ruler. Also, you could look at centimeters. There's 30 centimeters on the ruler. If you turned it over, 30 centimeters would be um, one foot also, or you could say one meter. So inches and feet or foot go together and meters and centimeters go together. A yardstick, we call it a yardstick, it's 36 inches. Meter stick, which is the same stick, same thing as the ruler, you turn it back and forth and it's 36 inches. A meter stick is 100, centi 100 centimeters though. So remember when I told you that centimeters are a shorter way to measure, their, their distance is shorter, so there's more of them. That's why there's 100 centimeters. Yardstick, they're bigger, so there's only 36 inches. Tape measures do the same thing, except that they're a lot longer. Um, don't forget when you're measuring, you have to start at zero. Not at one, not at ten, not at at the, the beginning of the ruler, you have to make sure that you start at zero. Now, zero could be at the beginning of the ruler. You just have to look at that ruler to see how to do it. All right, so this is the sheet that you will have in your book. 
and it's basically got the same thing. I used a lot of the same things. Um, I had the estimate, and I put their definition in my PowerPoint that, that went with um, estimate, that went with the vocabulary word. Same thing, I did the width of a, of, so you have this right here, one inch for a quarter, uh, the, the height of a, of a book, um, the width of a door. You have the same sheet, but this is, um, just a little, um, I just wanted to have another page for you to see. Um, this is kind of neat. It says, to estimate the length of a ribbon, your child might compare it to quarters and estimate it how, well, basically how many quarters it would take to measure this um, ribbon. And you, before you put the quarters down, you could guess, well, I think maybe it would take five. And then you lay the five down and see if you're right. So in this case, it did. It took five quarters to measure this ribbon right here. Um, let's see if I can draw on it. I don't know if I can draw on it. Oh, well, we'll, 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 we'll work on that. Um, so let's move on. Here is uh, the prerequisite. How do you order objects by length? Now, this is really easy. I'm going to give you an example, and then I want you to work this part down here. So let me see if it will let me draw just a little bit. Let me see if I can get my little pen ready here. So we're going to do this example. Oh, come on. No, it moved. Let's try it again. Come on, be nice. Just like we do at school, I'm always saying be nice. And not always is our computer nice, is it, boys and girls? So we're going to do this one with Miss Roberts' crazy line. Ha ha. That's so silly. So we're going to do this one together. And then this one down here, this one down here, you're going to do. So, so the, the first one, for example, says circle the shortest length. So you look over here at these three pencils that they gave us. And you look at them, you say, hmm, which one is the shortest? Well, this one is not the shortest because this one's longer. And I'm looking for one that's, that is shorter. This one is not shorter because this one is longer than that one and longer than this one. So this one, looking at it, I know what shorter means. So I would circle that one. Then it says draw an X on the longest pencil. Well, you circled this one, so you know it's not this one. Plus, it's much shorter. You know it's not this one now, but even though this one is longer than this one, it's this one's longer, but it's not the longest pencil. Remember, longest means the longest of three or more, and there's three there. So this one should have the X because it is the longest. Then it says, circle the word that makes the sentence below true. The top pencil is either longer or shorter than the middle pencil. So you're going to look at the top pencil and you're going to look at the middle pencil. So is this pencil right here, let me put a square on it, is it longer or shorter than this pencil? Well we already have the answer, how about that? We have shorter. Shorter, this pencil is shorter than this pencil. Of course this pencil is shorter than all three pencils. It's the shortest, by the way. So I want you to try this one with the crayons, and it asks the same questions. Circle the shortest crayon, draw an X on the longest crayon, and then circle the word that makes the sentence below true. The top crayon is longer or shorter than the middle crayon. So I want you to try that one. All right, let's move along. I will do an example, and then you're going to do um, hopefully they will give us a time to practice as well. So here you have some bats and you have the same question that you did. Well, I've already modeled and showed you one example, so I'm sure you are able to do this one. Same kind of questions. Circle the shortest bat, draw an X on the longest bat, and circle the word that makes the sentence below true. The bottom of the bat is longer or shorter than the middle of the bat. This is so easy, right? This is so, so easy. But you know what? Just like we always do, it gets harder. Right now, it's super simple, right? Draw the line, draw a line that is longer than both rectangles. So all you're gonna do here, which I don't even have to do because y'all are just so smart, is draw 
a rectangle, or a line actually, you can do a rectangle if you want it to, even though it doesn't say that. You can draw that, that is going to be, what? Longer than both of these. Here it says draw a line that is shorter than both of these. I'm not even gonna give you an example because you guys already know from the when I modeled the first problem over here, you know what's longer and shorter. So this right here should be so simple for you. Let's move on. Study the example showing how to estimate length, then problem solve, then solve problems one through eight. So using the paper clip to estimate the length of the yarn. Now you don't have to have a, a paper clip. They kind of give you one here. So you're just going to look and you're going to estimate. Like if I was looking at this, I would think how many paper clips, this paper clip right here, would I need to measure this piece of yarn that's right here? So looking at this, I, I know it would take another one. So I'm going to say two, probably it would take two. So that's exactly what this says. It looks like about two paper clips. It would fit above the yarn estimate about two, about six centimeters. So each of these paper clips are three centimeters. So if I use two, I'd have three plus three equals six. So about six centimeters. And I'm estimating, I'm estimating, I'm getting close, I'm guessing. Remember, estimate is just a fancy, fancy word for guess. Don't forget that because that's what our lesson's about today, that word estimate. Look here. Then use the ruler to measure. Now, this is our standard way. This is the actual measurement of it, the actual length of the yarn. So what they did is they started at zero. See how they started at zero? They didn't start at the beginning of the ruler. They started at zero, and they went all the way, and it did take two rulers. It couldn't take three. It only took two, and then they had a little bit left over, so the actual measurement is seven. You might have been able to guess that if you put this paper clip here, and you could see it a little over a little bit. You probably could say, well, it's six, but a little bit more than six, so probably at seven. So some of you might have gotten really close to that. So down here for number one, it's exactly what you're going to do. The only thing that changes just a tad bit is that this is one inch. Okay, so you're using an eraser and then you're using a marker. So you're using different items to measure and all of you can do it. Plus here we use centimeters and here they're using what? What is this word? We're using inches. So they're going to use inches this time and they gave you the length of a an eraser is one inch. So you've got to guess first. So this is about, when you see the word about, that's always where we guess. About means guess, because that means you're getting close. You're not, not the actual measurement, but you're saying about. And then this is the actual measurement, and it's in inches. So our vocabulary to estimate, use making thinking to, to make a close guess. So you're going to use math thinking to make a close guess. Estimate, to a close guess made using math thinking. Wow, they just kind of changed those words up a little bit. All right, so here, same thing. Now you're back to centimeters doing the same thing. You're going to guess with this sticker because you got the word about. So you're guessing, right? Then you're going to do the actual, actual, measurement and then they even gave you the ruler you don't even have to have a ruler you just they, they gave you the ruler right here and drew it and look what they did too they started it on zero you didn't even have to remember that all you have to do is look up there how easy is that look at this one estimate the length of your front door and feet so go to your front door give it a try look at it and see what you think now feet if you remember think of your ruler and measure how many rulers it would take to measure the length of your door. So give that a try, the length or your, the height of your door. Not sideways, not width, up and down. The height. Then it says, estimate the length of your wall in, in home at home in meters. Now meters is like that big long stick. Think how many long, long sticks it would take. In fact, I've watched some of y'all measure your door at school and you might even remember how many of those meter sticks it took. 
All right, so this right here, they have a park bench. Think about our park bench at school. Which one do you think makes more sense? Would it take 10 inches? Because 10 inches is going to be like this. Let's see, can you see? Like this. 24 meters. So that's 24 of those huge sticks. Would it take 24 of those? Or would it take two yards, which is just two of those huge sticks? I'm thinking probably two. So I'm going to circle two yards. All right? So this one's another one. And I want you to try this one. Which is the best estimate for the length of the piano keyboard? Think of a big piano. Think how many it would take. Two inches, or like this. Five feet, so that's five rulers. Or would it take 20 yardsticks to measure a ruler? What you, I mean, to measure this piano. I want you to think about that for a second and give it a guess, and then I'll tell you if you're right or not. Okay, think about it. Would it be two inches for this piano keyboard? This is the keyboard right here. Right across here. Let's see if I can make a straight line. Oop, almost straight. So would it be two inches? Now I'm not saying the, the actual keyboard. I want you to think of a, a piano keyboard. Would it be five feet? Or would it be 20 yards? Now I know you've seen a piano before. And think of Miss Rogan's piano that she uses. What do you think of that that would measure? It wouldn't be two inches. So you shouldn't have marked that because two inches would be just a little bitty space like this. We know it's longer than that. Would it be five feet? Hmm, five rulers, five of the rulers. Yes, I would think it would be five feet because it. I was thinking of 20 yards. That's 20 of those huge rulers that we have, the really big ones. Wouldn't be 20 of those, that's a lot. So I'm gonna mark that one out. So if you chose five feet, you are absolutely correct. Good job. All right, let's move on. Here is where it gets a little bit harder. You're going to be doing something in your house a little bit, in just a little bit. All right, so example. Here's our example, okay? So Mrs. Chen made a list of links. So she used an unsharpened pencil, a sticky note, an egg carton, and the height of a door. And she measured all these things. And she measured them using different things, by the way, different ways to measure. So the first thing she measured is she used centimeters. So she did 19 centimeters for her pencil. So she used a little centimeter, like your pinky, and she did 19 of them. Sticky note, three inches. So she used a quarter, and she did a sticky note, and she said it was three inches. An egg cart is about one foot. So she took a ruler and she put the ruler on there and it was 12 inches that made the whole width of the, the whole width of the ruler. So she said one foot. And then the height of a door, two meters, two of those long, 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 long um, sticks that we have, the long um, measuring sticks that we have. So she made her little chart here. It says, choose an object in your home that is not on this list. So you're going to come up with some things and kind of try to measure them. You're going to estimate. You're going to estimate. You don't, you're going to think about these things I've told you, like the quarter and your pinky and the length of a book and the, and the length of a door, uh, the width of a door. And you are going to pick one thing. Well, my example is a poster. Okay, this is what they picked. I didn't pick a poster. I don't have a poster, but think of a poster. And they estimate, estimate it would be three feet. Well, how about that? So explain, this is what they said about it. I thought about the egg carton from Mrs. Chen's list. So the egg carton is one foot. The length of an egg carton is one foot. My poster look as long as three egg cartons. So they added one plus one plus one equals three. So the poster is about three feet long, which makes sense. So they use these things up here to make their own, which is awesome. They did a good job. Where, do, where, does, where does the example tell the object that was chosen, show the estimate, explain which item from Mrs. Chen's list was used for help, and explain how the estimate was made. So that's what they did right here. 
they thought about the egg carton. That's what the object object that was checked. Well, you got to pick an object. Then you got to pick what you're going to use to measure it. And then you're going to explain how you got your answer. And this page is what you do that with. And you can all do that. Y'all do things like this all the time. So this should be very simple for you. And you get to use something in your house. Really cool. I was thinking about earlier that um, you, I could use a banana. I had bought some bananas um, the other day. I could use a banana. I could use an apple. I could use something that I like to eat. I could use a pitcher. I know mom and dad had pictures of you guys. Get a pitcher. Get your pitcher frame and use it. And then guess, estimate. Estimate how many of either inches or feet or centimeters or meters you think it would take. So let's move on. All right, so this is something that you can do. It says to have a partner. You don't have to have a partner. In fact, I really, you know, it, I really don't want you to have a partner. Now you could use brother and sister if you wanted to, but you don't have to. And it says five classroom objects. Of course, we don't have classroom objects, but you have things at home you can use. They used paper clip, crayon, marker, glue stick, book, piece of paper. These are just suggestions. You don't have to use these. You can just get things around your house. Get pencils that are different sizes. Use those. That'd be great. Ruler with the both centimeters and inches. Now, that could be a problem. You can get online and get a, a ruler and, and just print it. If you have one, try to use it. The recording sheet is on here. Um, I do not have one. Uh, send me a message if you watch this and I will send you a, cop a, a piece of paper with a ruler on it. Um, but you can just type in ruler in any kind of Google and they will give you a ruler and you can just type in or you know you don't have to buy one for this because it would be really simple to just print one off. Um, if not, mom and dad should have a ruler that would measure things on their phone so they could use that. I've used that in stores before so you can do that as well. And it says work together. Like I said, you don't have to do it together. Choose an object. Write the name on the recording sheet, and that's the next sheet. Estimate the length of the object in centimeters, almost like what you just did, basically. Write the estimate in your second column. Tell how, tell how you made your estimate. Measure the length of objects in centimeters and record it in the third column. Your partner checks the measurement. Like I said, you check the measurement. You don't have to have a partner. Five, estimate, the, uh, then measure the, or estimate, and then measure the, the object in inches and record in column four and five. Repeat this until both partners have done two turns. You don't have to do two turns. You can do all the turns. Choose a crayon. Estimate its length in centimeters, 10 centimeters. Then measure its length in, in centimeters, nine centimeters. Estimate is, is the length in inches, three inches. To measure the length in inches, about three inches. So you're using centimeters here and you're using inches. Now you might use feet and you could use yards and you could use meters. And then let's see, and then here's your sheet that you have to do that. I know that a centimeter is about as wide as my little bitty finger, the, wide, the width going across. I know that an inch is about as wide as a quarter. So here's your, your chart. This right here is your estimate. This right here is your actual thing. This right here is like a crayon, whatever you pick in your house to measure. So now you have like a little chart you can make. All right, so here is one other one, one other little, little example. This is centimeters and inches, okay? And you pick a toy, toy one, toy two, toy three. And you estimate, and then the actual measure, you estimate your actual measurement here, and then you have all this information here. You have one in centimeters and one in inches and you compare the two. Then down here at the bottom, actually you, they used here, they said materials. You can use a quarter, ruler, toys, or household objects. Then let me just go ahead and go through these. Have your child collect three of his or her favorite small toys. Uh, work with your child to estimate, to estimate, estimate, estimate. I always call them different things, kind of like envelope, envelope. The length of each toy in centimeters. Encourage your child to use his or her little finger as a benchmark measurement of one centimeter. 
Estimate the length of the toy in inches using quarters as a benchmark measurement of one inch. Fill in the table below with the estimates. Then use a ruler to measure the toy lengths of the nearest inch or centimeters. Okay, so here is your guess. Here is when you use the ruler. If you don't have a ruler, then you can't do this one, I guess, or you can just skip it. But all of you know how to use a ruler. We've used rulers before. You should be able to. If you can find one online, I encourage you to do so. Ask your child which of his or her estimates was the closest in the actual length. Why don't you something fun? Keep an eye open for an examples of benchmarks lengths in your everyday life. Now, remember, benchmarks are examples of things like when I gave with the, with the quarter, the pen. These are benchmarks that we can use that show us these measurements. And it says, share these with your child. For example, the height of a tree might be a good example of 20 feet. The length of a sidewalk square might be a good example of one yard. Very good, because you guys got really good at doing this when we were um, doing it in the classroom. Really, really good. Y'all knew that it took um, two of the um, yardsticks or the meter sticks to do the door going up and down, doing the height. You knew it took one going across, so with the width of either a meter, meter stick, or a yardstick. So y'all got really good, so you can really impress your parents when doing this this time. So this is just a fun little activity. Well, I hope you guys had a good time with me today. I cannot tell you how much I miss each and every one of you. I, I miss y'all so much, you have no idea. And I can't wait to see y'all. I can't wait to give y'all a big hug. And I hope that we get a day that we can celebrate. I know I promised y'all pizza. And I want to get together and do these things with y'all. And hopefully, I will be able to do it soon. You guys take care. I love you. Bye.